Now, this will come as a shock to a lot of you, but women 100% love problematic men. Okay, women want, women desire, and women crave men who are problematic, which means in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this to your advantage and ultimately why men who know how to demonstrate these specific characteristics are truthfully the ones who win over her emotions every single time and cause her to fall deeply in love. This is something that you cannot ignore. This video will solve all of that. Now today's MBT masculine behavioral techniques, celebrity spotlight, Dude posts this in my private community. He goes less than one month into this program and I have a girlfriend who is absolutely obsessed with me after being single for years with no idea why. The first three weeks have been absolutely mind opening. I cannot wait to see the rest. Guys, I am seeing results and transformations like this every single week. Because of that, I want you to go down below after this video is over. You hit the link in the description because I put together a full length end to end presentation for you, specifically showing you step by step how you can use masculine behavioral techniques into your dating life too. Let's dive in. Now in today's video, I'm showing you exactly why women want problematic men. Okay, you're going to see exactly what I mean in just a second, but the, the whole base and the whole premise of this, you have to understand, is problematic men cause tension. Okay, this added tension, even in the beginning, okay, feeds her feminine emotions. This creates the idea of fantasy, imagination, or puppy love, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by this. But when you're with a woman or when you start dating a woman or you're seeing a woman for the first few times, these problems need to start right away. Okay, you have to start to have some level of confrontation to you to be problematic. So for those of you who you're very textbook, meaning it, like you pay for the date, you tell her you had a great time, you text her afterwards, did you make it home safe, blah, blah, blah. For those of you who fit that frame or you fit that narrative, I'm going to be showing you exactly little things that you can do. Okay, these problems need to start right away. If she sits next to you, you look at her, you go, did I say that you could sit next to me? Okay. If you are watching a movie with her and you're cuddled up by yourself, meaning you grab a blanket, you put it on your yourself, you're laying with that blanket. All of a sudden you're going to notice five, six minutes go by. All of a sudden she's going to take a corner of it. Okay. Notice she comes to you first. She takes a corner of it. She tries to pull it onto her. Now you guys are sharing a blanket. You look at her, did I, and you look at her and you can say, did I say that you could have my blanket? Or you can say, you know, <laughs> did I say that I want to share my blanket with you? These are little things that creates puppy love in a woman's brain. If she gives you a look or she smiles or she smirks, you can say, don't look at me like that or else I'm not going to like you. These are little things. Okay. These little things cause tension. These little things make it so that way you become problematic. This is what her feminine emotions needs in order to try to lock you down. So that way it seems like you are a chase. So that way it seems as if you are not necessarily sold on her. So the reason why this is so important is because you must be something that she has to try to fix. Say that with me one more time. You have to be something okay, that she has to try to fix. Okay. Let me give you an example. I have a hot tub here at my house. Every single time that I've invited a girl over and we've went on a date and we've came back, if there is a bikini that I, that was left on the floor or a different girl left it, something like that. Instantly the girl calls that out when she goes to the bathroom and she goes, Who, whose bikini is that laying in the tub? She tries to play this little game. Okay. But little stuff like that. If she finds that you might think, Oh no, that would lower attraction. That slight problematic tension causes her to dive deeper into her emotions and actually like you more little things like that. Men who are problematic, men who actually make it so that way the woman has to try to figure them out. These are men who create added tension. So that way her emotions have something to fixate on. This is why oftentimes the guy who won't grow up or refuses to grow up is always the challenge that she wants. This is why a lot of guys get confused. They're like, you know, I, I work a great job or I own my own business or I'm like high up in the corporate ladder. You know, I do all these cool things, but every single time I go out with a girl, she's like, Oh, I'm just not really feeling it. And then I, and then the guy, the guy will say the same remark every time the guy will go. I lost her to a guy who isn't nowhere near at the level I'm at in success. I can't believe she would be with a guy like him. This is what they say. This is why. Okay. The guy who creates tension, the guy who's problematic is the one that she wants to lock down. So this stems into long-term relationship problems. Once you've mastered how to create the tension in the beginning, this means that the more her brain can fixate on little things like, Oh my gosh, I want more of his time or, Oh my gosh, I, this argument that we had, like this is leading to a fear of loss. I'm worried that I'm going to lose him. These things are turn ons. If you do not demonstrate these specific characteristics in your dating life or in your relationships with women, they will grow bored of you very quickly. So 
This is why problematic men need to cause tension and must cause tension, and this tension causes her to fall deeper into love. Now, if you understand this is the premise, this brings me into my next point. Never under any circumstances attempt to fix her emotions or strengthen a relationship. If you're a man saying this, I want to strengthen my relationship, this should sound like vomit, okay? This should sound like vomit because the second you do this, you've entered into the wrong energy. Here's what I mean. A woman's natural desire is to fix, solve, or strengthen the internal world of the relationship. Meaning that the more you're there for her, the more you're trying to make sure things are stable, the more you're trying to make sure things are smooth, okay? She now doesn't have anything to fix. Women want to fix those sorts of things. Women like to fix oftentimes a broken internal world. This is why oftentimes women will chase men who are troubled, have a troubled past, are problematic. You'll see women do this because women naturally want to bring out that nurturing feminine instinct. So read this with me because these are bitter pills to swallow. Women's natural desire is to fix, strengthen, or solve the internal world of the relationship. Men who do this, okay, men who try to fix her feminine emotions or make sure that she's always happy or make sure that that woman never feels any negative energy ever, men who do this have reversed the dynamic and now have entered into feminine energy. That means her emotional waves must be coupled by your masculine indifference. What I can tell you to sum this up is the second that you start to try to fix any woman's emotions. You try to only make sure that there's positive energy. You try to only make sure that that woman is happy or satisfied 24 seven. That woman will exit your life so quick. You're going to be sitting there wondering what the hell happened. And then the excuses come. What are the excuses? The excuses are, oh, she wasn't raised right. The excuses are, oh, you know, uh, she has a troubled past. Oh, you know, um, her friends influenced her away from me. No, they didn't. You can't fight hardwiring and attraction. You can't change hardwiring and attraction. The woman either likes you or she doesn't. Everything else is irrelevant. Meaning if a woman pull away from you, if a woman doesn't like you, you've done something that has caused a decrease in desire, which means it's your job to learn and grow from that. So women love when their internal world needs to be fixed. Women love when their internal world has something going on that has chaos that needs to be fixed. Okay. This is what they look for. So when a guy demonstrates things like, Oh, you know, I'm not necessarily sold on this woman. She goes, well, he's a challenge. He's a mystery. Well, I just can't figure him out. And then guess what? She finds value in trying to obtain his approval. Women deep down crave and women deep down desire to be the fixers in relationships, which is why guys who do this and guys who enter into this sort of energy will 100% of the time lose. So you might be sitting here wondering, well, Casey, I've always thought men are the fixers. Men are the doers. Men like to get stuff done and make sure problems are solved. Yes, but only in the external world. This leads me to my next point. Men need to focus on fixing the external world only. That is why men who are hell bent on finding companionship oftentimes lose. It is not natural for men to pursue commitment because this will turn her off. So your job, the reason why a woman will find value in you is when you solve problems in the external world. A woman desires to solve the problems of the internal world. They're polar opposite and the dynamic is completely different. So when you're solving problems in the external world, that means that you're not focused on your emotion or her emotion for that matter. You're doing things like solving problems in your business. You're leveling up your career. Okay. Maybe you're going to the gym frequently and you're leveling up your body. Okay. You also have competency skills. The woman will look at the guy and go, do you think he can fix a tire? Do you think this guy's competent enough to change the light bulb? If a problem happens where, you know, there's a crack in the foundation and all of a sudden water is leaking into our basement, does this guy know who to call or even how to fix it himself? Is this guy competent? You're fixing the external world. Your job is not to solve her emotions. Your job is never to build something in a relationship with a woman. Your job is to never focus on the future and where the relationship's headed. Your job is to never focus on, you know, what her, what the future with her will be like. So that way you don't feel lonely. This is the exact shit. Why guys completely ruin every single interaction with a woman that they actually have interest in is because they stop focusing on all of the things that make them an attractive man. They start to oftentimes put her needs first or what he assumes she wants. And then the whole thing completely crumbles. So when a woman is asking herself these questions, like, can he provide, can he protect? This is going to cause her attraction to raise for you. Now that means the second that this guy goes girly, meaning he's worried about her internal world and how she feels is the exact second that that woman now pulls back and exits. So 
What I'm telling you is this. When you as a guy, you focus on the external world and building up those masculine qualities, this now allows the woman to now focus on fixing the internal world only, which is why women chase troublemakers, women chase bad boys, women will chase, you know, guys who are doing shady shit or they're oftentimes in and out of jail. Like this is typical shit that you see because women oftentimes gravitate towards broken men because now they have something to fix. A lot of you have women reject you because you're just too damn perfect. And that's why when, when you're so perfect, when all the boxes are checked, you're now boring. Now I can't control that. That's not something you might say, well, Casey, that's dumb. Casey, that's stupid. Casey, I can't believe that that's how it is. That's not fair. I'd rather exit the dating game. Well, okay. That doesn't make anything that I said any less true. So if you have different ways to cope with this, that's fine, but it doesn't make any of the facts that I have written down on this board behind me less true, which means for those of you who just accept these things and you learn how to create that tension, you learn how to create okay, that chaos from time to time, you learn how to become the mystery that a woman wants to lock down. This is so drastically important. Women want to fix things, grow and solve problems too. They just want to solve the problems in the internal world of emotion, not the external world like you. This is why women like to play around, that women like games, women like fantasy, women like men who don't take themselves too seriously. Okay, if you're a guy that she can kick back with and the vibe is seductive and all of a sudden you guys are chilling together and things are cool and he's not trying to future pace a relationship. He's not trying to future pace where things are going with her. He's not trying to future pace any of these things that make her feel like he's focused in on his feelings or her feelings for that matter is the second that now she actually desires him. So her goal, a woman's goal is to seek safety. This is why they gravitate towards strong masculine men who are independent. Men who are problematic now have a higher sexual market value in her eyes. And the reason is because these problems that the guy creates, like maybe not wanting to commit to her, okay, maybe um, <laughs> even starting arguments from time to time or pulling back or not being sold on her, or he doesn't care if he sees her for a week or two at a time sometimes. He doesn't necessarily care. This registers to her feminine emotions that he has chosen or he is pre-selected by other women. Her brain goes, well, he must be coming from a point of abundance. He must be coming from a point of options. He must be coming from a point where other women find him sexually attractive too. She's gonna go, well, if he carries himself like this naturally, naturally I want to lock him down. So when a woman has these thoughts going through her head, she gets to now fix the internal world for herself and try to fix your internal world too. But the second you allow her to do that, you start to become boring, complacent, and cookie cutter too. When she has these questions go through her head, like, am I good enough? Did I please him? Okay, if she says things like, am I girlfriend material? Would he like to look at me in the way of a long-term companion? When you leave her emotions in limbo like this, back and forth, this is where she falls deeper into love. The second a man focuses on emotion and the internal world, she exits. This doesn't matter, like you could, the, se the second any guy focuses on the internal world, she exits. You could be a multimillionaire who's six foot six, um, you have 10 different sports cars, you are in Forbes 30 under 30, and you have a private jet. But the second that you're future pacing that relationship with her, the second you're so sold on her, the second that you're doing anything to not rock the boat because you're afraid to create the tension, she is going to have her feminine emotions gravitate towards a man who is more problematic. Now, if you've gotten this far in the video, there's two types of men. Okay, the first type of guy is the guy who says, well, that's not fair. And because life's not fair, I'm just going to give up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say, well, that's stupid. And I'm not going to get the dating success that I actually want. That's type number one, or that's road number one. You can choose to go down that road, but I don't advise it. What a truly masculine man does who seeks wisdom is he understands these things. He uses them to his advantage. And then you can actually master your dating life the way that you want. I advise you to go down road number two. Okay, because the fact is this true growth as a man only comes when you actually can see these sorts of problems and now you have answers to find solutions. So just because this doesn't make you feel good, just because this seems like it's icky or it's unfair, doesn't make it any less true. Which means the guys who can leverage these skills that I teach on these marker board presentations to their advantage are the ones who win in their dating life. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.